Alright, I'd like to get started, please. Okay. Okay, so today is Seniors Day, okay? You guys need to. Yesterday, the day off, today you get to work, okay? Uh, do you want me to go over any homework? No questions on homework? Priscilla, questions on homework? Priscilla, questions on homework? Questions on homework? No. Noah, do you have any questions on homework? Doesn't have to be last night. It could be from two years ago. I can still do homework from two years ago. All right, so today is 2.4. Uh, before I forget, Udara, tomorrow is worksheet day, okay? 2.1 through 2.4. It's on the website. Print it out, bring it to class. You're going to be working on it tomorrow. On Tuesday, you have a test. Okay, 2.1 through 2.4, test. Ray, you have a question? Okay, let's move on. So, complex numbers. And so, right here is an example as to why we need them. Okay, why we need them. So, Zara, since you practice these questions a lot, how do we start out finding zeros of a polynomial? What do we do? Um, why don't you speak with your hands down so you can, you know, you can make all that stuff that's in your mouth fly all over Sona. Start out with P over Q. So, can someone give me what P over Q is going to be equal to? You guys paying attention now, okay? Lecture's already started, so you need to ask some. Okay, someone tell me P over Q. Okay. Tell me more. Tell me more. Factors are one, two. Downstairs, one, two, three, and six. So it's going to be one of those numbers. Number two, what do we do next? What do we do next? Sorry? That's right. X equals one, a zero. And how do you do that? You add the coefficients and what do you get? You get three, so, so X is not equal to one. And then how about x equals minus 1? How about x equals minus 1? What do you do? Exactly. Good job, mate. You got the real terminology there. F minus x is equal to... Elaine, do you want to move in the front here? Oh, no, I'm asking you. No, I don't. Well, then why did you? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Is this uh, going to give you x equals negative 1 or 0? Okay. So sum of coefficients not equal to 0, so x is not equal to minus 1. Step number 3, what do we do? Sorry? Exactly. Good job, girl. What does Descartes tell you? What does the, the card tell you? So here's a positive, here's a sign change, here's a sign change, here's a sign change. So it could be three positive or one. or one positive. Let's not worry about the complex because we're not finding complex right now, okay? Well, let's do it. So let's do our table, okay? Let's do our table. So Zara, what was our table? Positive, negative, complex, total. So it's either three positive, which means that be how many negative then? And how many complex? And total? Total will be whatever this number is. Okay? Or it's one positive, and the other two will then become? Sorry? Complex. And this would be three, and how many negative? So notice that there are no negative roots in there. So, okay, there are no negative roots in there. So number four. So really what we should have done is we should have done Descartes before we did plus or minus one. Sorry? Who has questions, sorry?
Good. Okay. Number four, what do we do? What do we do? Next. Sorry, who was that? Okay. Which one do you want to do? Which one do you want to do? So first of all, you're going to write the uh, coefficients down. So 6, negative 4, 3, negative 2. And then so now, what do you want to try? Sorry? What do you want to try? 30? Ah, <laughs> oh, you junior smoked a lot last night, didn't you? Udara, what are you working on your cell phone? Are you working on your cell phone there? No? I can tell, man. I can see the reflection in your face. <laughs> Sona. I'm going to try a three. Okay, let's do a three. Well, you can see where it's going. You can see where it's going. Sorry, can we what? I'm going to try what? Za, what did you have? I think I'd do a half. Because you can see the six and a four looks like nice even things. Minus one. Hello? I'm waiting for an answer here. Why am I doing all the work, man? Why are you guys Oh hang on, hang on, time out, time out, time out, time out. You guys do the half doesn't work. So that's all right. Well Eric's saying he wants to try two thirds. Okay, Eric, go. All right, so Eric had six come down here, and then he had a four, a zero, a zero, a three, a positive two, and that gave him a zero. So that means, okay, that means that f of x is equal to x minus two-thirds and six x squared plus three. Does everybody with me on that? How do you go about solving this equation now? What do you do? Sorry? Kylie? Factor what? How are you going to factor that? Well, aren't you just going to set this to zero? Can you guys pay attention here, please? Shri, now you are on with the chalk people. I thought you were different. Okay, Kylie, just set that to zero and you solve. So, does everybody get minus a half? Because you need to pay attention, okay? I really cannot entertain your questions if you're not paying attention. Okay, Dean, did you get this? Okay, now what do I do? You take the square root on both sides. And notice now you've got the square root of a negative number. That's where complex numbers come in. That's where complex numbers come in. You guys with me on that? Okay. Does everybody know the basic complex number? Which is equal to? Nice. Good job. Okay. So this is why we need complex numbers because when you try and solve equations, there may be uh, quadratics that do not have real solutions and therefore we need complex numbers. So here are various standard forms of complex numbers. Please get that down. Okay, one thing that I want to tell you. Notice that this is not written as negative 3 plus 1 over 2i. It's not written like this. It's not written like that. This is not standard. Okay, for the standard number, for standard complex number, you need to break it up into a real part and an imaginary part. Okay, that's where the letter I comes from, okay, imaginary. All right, so make sure you don't write it like this, okay, because that's not standard. All right, let's go and uh, talk a little bit more about how uh, real numbers are written as a plus bi. 
where a and b are real numbers. And then if b is 0, then the number is real. And if a is 0, uh, the number is purely imaginary. Okay. Okay. What we also need to do is we need to learn how to graph these things on a complex plane. Okay. So in a complex plane, your x-axis is the real axis, and your y-axis is the imaginary axis. So if you wanted to plot the point 2 plus 6i, you're going to go 2 units along x, and then 6 units along y. So here's your number. This is your number 2 plus 6i. And please make sure you see that this number here corresponds to minus 4 minus i. So since complex numbers are really a point in the complex plane, there's a certain distance from the origin to that point. Okay, this distance. And this distance is called the magnitude of the complex number. And it is written like absolute value sign, 2 plus 6i. Actually, let me just confirm whether it's the single bar or two bars, I forget. Yeah, it is single bar. Okay, so notice that this is two units and this is six units, and this is a right angle. So can someone tell me how to find the magnitude then? Remember, the magnitude is just going to be a number. It's not going to have an I in it. Okay, it's just going to be a real number. Sorry? Square root of two squared plus six squared, which is square root of 40. Thou shall never leave a perfect square underneath. To root 10. Nice. Good job, Ray. Is everybody following me? Usman, you working on the junior skit for next year? Oh, okay. You working on math? Is there a math book open there? <laughs> How can I tell these things? You know, I'm sitting like half a mile away from you and I can feel that you're not doing math because if you're doing math, you'd be purring like the cat next to you. Oh, but what's the other book that's open there? Oh, it's his paperweight. As long as it's not a math book that's paperweight, I'm okay with it. Are you guys there? You get complex numbers. You get the magnitude and all that stuff? Yes? yes? No? Okay. Then find me the magnitude of this blue complex number. Okay, so some powers of i. Please take a look at these numbers. And make sure you understand the pattern in there, okay? Make sure you understand the pattern in there. Need a, sorry? Do you guys see the pattern? So I squared is minus 1, I4 is 1. What do you think I6 is? Negative 1, it's going to be alternating. Minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, and so on. Why is I 4? Because it'll be the square of this guy, isn't it? Oh. Ah. Okay, so remember I is equal to square root of minus 1, right? Yeah. That can be written as minus 1 to the half power. Yes. And if you're going to go square that, 